Well, look at that. I didn't even have to order this year. They just knew to deliver the pizza. Hi. I rolled the dice and brought some with me. Oh, the pizza's here. Thank God I'm famished. Oh, the pizza's here. Drew? Good, at least someone in the family still recognizes me. I'm home. Oh. I still can't believe that it wasn't a plane crash, that you were abducted by Peter August. And fought for two years to come home. I mean, if you hadn't managed to get a hold of that guard's cell phone and call Sam. I mean, you could still be in that hellhole. I, I don't understand. Why wouldn't Sam tell us that you called her? Please don't blame Sam. She, she really was just trying to protect all of you until she knew for sure that I was alive. Believe me, there was many days where even I didn't think that I was going to make it back. Well, I wish Jason could be here to share this Thanksgiving pizza. <laughs> but he, uh, he's got to be with his children. Hello? Is there something you're not saying? What my rescue cost this family. In my last months at the compound, I finally had some contact with the other prisoners. Probably more accurate to call them hostages. Anyway, there was a very nice young woman. There was a nurse who was abducted in the middle of her life and, and Liesl Obrecht. Scott Baldwin was shouting from the rooftops that Dr. Obrecht was missing. Britt Westbourne convinced Jason to help her find her mother, and that search led them to Cassidy Island. Oh. Well, that's probably why I haven't heard from Jason in a while. He didn't want to raise my hopes up about you being alive. Monica, Jason and Britt did everything that they possibly could to get me home, but... In the process, Jason. Uh, Jason, um... He's gone, isn't he? Isn't he? Jason's gone.